Hello everyone, welcome back to the Golden Butterfly Film Studios channel. I hope that all of you are having an amazing day. So the Willy Wonka experience has gone viral online and the picture on the left was the one that was advertised in the UK to the public and it's AI. As you guys can see, it's very, you know, whimsical, very colorful. Well, on the right, the picture is the reality and people were going bonkers online. So Fast Company wrote an article. It says, as more organizations start to use AI in their advertising materials, consumers are going to have to navigate a marketing minefield. It's the story that has captured the internet's attention, giving birth to millions of memes. <laughs> and they have been really interesting, you guys. Here's another picture of the AI right? We can see the beautiful starry, you know, ceiling and all of the huge lollipops and it really looks magical. And then on the right is what people saw when they actually showed up. So it says the, the uh, Willy Wonka experience took place in Gaslow, Scotland last month. Oh, and it left children in tears. Well, that's heartbreaking. The exhibit went viral after photos and testimony emerged suggesting a huge gulf between how the experience was marketed, as we can see on the left, with glitzy larger than life imagery. And then in reality was an empty warehouse offering snacks with just a handful of jelly beans and a half cup of lemonade. But as much as the Willy Wonka experience seems like a particularly egregious stunt, the truth is likely to become the norm going forward as AI is used more often in promotional materials. Tempting as it may be to use AI so quickly and cheaply to generate marketing materials, the risk of misleading consumers is high, given that the resulting material um, in the relevant AI model of interpretation of the prompts describing the product or the experience rather than the images of the actual product or experience itself, says Stuart Smith, a corporate and commercial lawyer at the London law firms. Wow. So Smith adds the UK regulations mandate that advertising must not be materially misled to consumers. See, so you can't mislead your, your people, you guys. The Willy Wonka experience debacle only emphasizes the importance of that principle. Indeed, uh, Ryan Gracie, a partner and digital technology expert at the law firms of Gordon's in the UK, um, they are an independent advertising regulator. I don't know if we have that here. Um, that's interesting, okay. They maintain authority even over ads created with AI. They said, if an ad misleads consumers on the product or services offered, then the ASA retains its standard enforcement powers. Okay, we do have that here. It says the same goes for the US. Okay, so we have the Lantham Act, section five of the Federal Trade Commission. Okay, so that can be used to challenge any visual representation seemed deceptive. The debate over AI and advertising and how closely it mirrors what consumers can actually encounter when they uh, use a service or a product, it echoes a past scandals. <laughs> That's a very interesting choice of words, right? Because the young lady in the right, she was just doing her job. She's supposed to be an Oompa Loompa, but oh my goodness, I've seen so many memes of this young woman on my social media feed. And then here we have another picture <laughs> and another angle <laughs> of the Willy Wonka experience. Um, and they tried their best, right? I didn't know um, that they were so upset, the people I feel so bad for the, the people of Scotland, especially the children. Um, but I thought that this was just a bit lighthearted. I hope they could take them to maybe um, some kind of other experience or like an amusement park. Um, you know, that can make it up to the kids. But I'll keep reading the article. It says, um, this debate closely mirrors what consumers can actually encounter when they, um, yeah, okay, when they use a service or product. So in October, 2023, McDonald's and Wendy's defeated a lawsuit brought against both companies over misrepresenting the size of their burgers. 
and advertising content. However, a separate class action lawsuit against Burger King has been allowed to progress. That's interesting. I mean, we, I thought that, you know, of course we saw the commercials growing up and they would kind of pan into, uh, the camera would pan into the, you know, the food making it larger than life, right? Which is kind of, you know, take over the screen and they would show like the melted cheese and try to make the the burgers and the, the food look as appetizing as possible. But it's interesting that they went to court over the actual size. It's a very interesting note. One court found a TV ad featuring a hand squeezing an orange into a carton constituted a false statement when the orange juice was not fresh squeezed. Okay, that's yeah, that's definitely false advertising. It was flash frozen and made from concentrate, says Northeastern University law professor Alexandra Roberts. She also pointed out that other co- courts have find um, have found literal falsity based on the images altered using tools like Photoshop. Yes, now that we've seen, right? People use Photoshop all the time, including. One pool toy seller's practice of shrinking images of children to make the toys appear larger in relation to the size of human beings. If AI is used to create images that consumers believe are real and what they show is false or misleading, then the practice can constitute false advertising, Robert says. Okay, so now they're getting into like the legal action. This is getting serious. <laughs> Whether people think the AI imagery they see is fully representative of the products or services they're likely to receive is another question. If AI is used to create images that consumers believe are real, then that shows false or misleading um, practices that can constitute false advertising. On the other hand, some uses of AI might appear more cartoonish as we see here. And we might also ask whether consumers reasonably believe them to be making a factual claim about the goods or services offer. All of which is to say consumers need to be more aware of the AI field world in which we live. False advertising images generated using AI are problematic, but so are false advertising (laughs) images generated not using AI. Let's say a picture of a different house on an Airbnb. She says, I can't see any reason why the law would treat them differently. She says, I think and hope that it would make consumers more skeptical. Perhaps it will in the long run, but that's little comfort for the little kids who experience the letdown of their short timelines in Scotland, in Glasgow, Scotland. I'm so sorry that the kids had such a a horrible experience. Oh, well, see, this angle doesn't look that bad and not as bad as the other ones. But the fact that they only gave the kids, you know, jelly beans and a half cup of lemonade was kind of disappointing, too. Like, at the very least, they should have had, you know, chocolate bars wrapped in like a a golden wrapper. Right. That's the minimum that I would expect. But I don't know. I just thought that this was very interesting um, just to get a legal standard, you know, um, stance on using AI to kind of advertise their um, their events. I mean, some would say that's, you know, it's not good business practice. It's unethical. And here we had some law professors um, weigh in saying that, you know, it's probably going to become more commonplace now that AI is such a big deal. Um, let's go back. Like the picture on the left, I wouldn't expect to see that in real life. However, I would not expect, <laughs> I wouldn't expect to see the picture on the right either. Like somewhere in the middle, you know what I mean? Like that's a more realistic expectation. I feel like they could have had maybe some of the swirly lollipops and, you know, they could have used some kind of lighting for the ceiling. But even the the warehouse in and of itself with like the huge, you know, windows and things like that, I don't think that they could have, I don't know, maybe they could have put some some construction paper or did something to um, to kind of dress it up a little bit. But I thought this was very interesting. Um, it's definitely, you know, um, 
a lot of people are talking about it online. It's definitely gone viral because we don't hear a whole lot about Scotland. But again, I hope that they were able to, you know, make it up to the kids somehow. You guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about the Willy Wonka experience? Please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I will talk with you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.